Top 10 Must Have Android Games Gaming on mobile has been improving at a far greater rate than any technology that came before it. Android games seem to hit new heights every year. We see more and more premium game releases that challenge what phones can do, and even free-to-play games are getting better and better. To be honest, mobile has some reasonably impressive titles. Some of these even compete with console and PC games, or are also available on PC and console along with mobile. Without further delay, here are the best Android games available right now. These are the best of the best, so the list won't change all that often unless something excellent comes along. Number 10. Pokemon Go Pokemon Go exploded onto the mobile gaming scene in July 2016 and immediately became one of the best Android games ever. It's an augmented reality game, similar to Ingress, where you walk around the real world, catch Pokemon, complete little side missions, battle for gems, and hit up Pokestops to restock on items. It beat virtually every record in the books as the world's most popular mobile game. Thankfully, the game gets frequent updates with new features. Some more recent features include an AR camera camera mode, new Pokemon, and a bunch of other neat stuff. Niantic also launched Harry Potter Wizards Unite, a Harry Potter AR game with similar mechanics. The two games stand alone atop the best augmented reality games on mobile. Number 9. Nintendo Games Nintendo has a decent number of Android games. They have one premium game with Super Mario Run. Many believed it had too high of a price. However, mechanically, it's one of the best platformers on mobile. Nintendo also has a couple of freemium options, including Fire Emblem Heroes, Strategy RPG, and Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Simulation. Nintendo added Dragalia Lost to its repertoire in September of 2018, as well as Dr. Mario World in 2019. Finally, Mario Kart Tour is the second biggest mobile game release of all time, second only to Call of Duty Mobile. Nintendo's games can be a bit rough around the edges sometimes, but they all provide relatively fun and solid experiences. Number 8. Monument Valley 1 and 2 Monument Valley returns to the list with the release of Monument Valley 2. Both games are still very excellent. In fact, they have virtually identical gameplay mechanics and graphics. The player adventures through Escher-style puzzles, where levels are movable to complete the path using illusions. The premise is still charming, and the Monument Valley franchise continues to stand as a couple of the best mobile games ever. The first one runs for $3.99, with an optional $1.99 in-app purchase for the Forgotten Shores DLC. The second game right now goes for $4.99. You can play both games as part of the Google Play Pass if you subscribe to that. Number 7. Minecraft Minecraft is a popular game all around the world for people of all ages. For those who have never played, Minecraft puts you in a giant world where you mine stuff, build stuff, beat up bad guys, and do pretty much whatever you want. There is a survival mode where you must mine your own resources and food along with a creative mode that gives you unlimited everything. Frequent updates have added tons of new content and possibilities. The game is pretty much on par with its PC and console counterparts. In fact, you can play on multiplayer servers with people on those platforms. There are in-app purchases, but they're just for customization things like skin packs. It's not only the best sandbox game on Android, but also one of the best survival games as well. Number 6. Levelhead Levelhead is a new platformer from Butterscotch Shenanigans, the same developer of Crashlands. Crashlands was on this list for a good two or three years, and we expect Levelhead to be here for a while too. It's a platformer with 90 levels, surprisingly satisfying controls, and some excellent humor. However, this one sets itself apart from the others with its truly excellent custom level building. Players can build levels and upload them to the game. Other players download them, and the most popular end up in the game's prestigious vault. Plus, the game has speedrunning features, and each level comes with its own leaderboard, even the custom ones. Finally, the game is cross-platform with cloud saves. It covers all the bases for a mobile platformer. It's also free with Google Play Pass if you use that. Number 5. Legends of Runeterra Legends of Runeterra is one of the newer Android games on this list. It's an online battler similar in scope to games like Hearthstone. Players collect cards and heroes, then build decks from those cards and heroes. You then battle opponents online. 
the game removes as much of the randomness as it can, and it leads to a good gameplay experience overall. The game includes 24 champions, a bunch of cards, and you can invite friends to duel with you as well. Hearthstone donned this list for a long time, but it's time for a new champion in this space. Number 4. Gris Gris is an adventure game with puzzled platformer elements. This is one of those ones you know is good just by looking at it. The game follows Gris, a young girl lost in her own world while dealing with the painful experiences in her life. It doesn't have anything like player death or anything like that. You simply explore the world, solve some puzzles, and enjoy. The game features almost no text and chooses instead to tell its story through visual elements instead. It's an artsy game, but one of the best in its genre. Number 3. Grid Autosport Grid Autosport launched in 2019 and immediately became one of the best racing games for Android. The Riptide GP and Asphalt franchises are also quite good, but Grid Autosport hits almost all the check marks. It's a premium game with no in-app purchases or advertising. The game also boasts excellent graphics, excellent controls, hardware controller support, tons of content to play through, tons of cars to unlock, and a variety of racing styles. The game is a bit expensive and it's missing some smaller things racing fanatics tend to like, but it's otherwise one of the best racing experiences in the Play Store. Our only real gripe is the lack of updates. Number 2. Genshin Impact Genshin Impact is an action RPG game with gotcha mechanics. The game was also our pick for best game of 2020. It received wide critical acclaim upon its release for its impressive visuals and excellent gameplay. It looks and acts a bit like Zelda Breath of the Wild, but nobody seems to really mind. The game does have a party system and you summon new characters through a gotcha system similar to other gotchas. However, the visual elements, gameplay mechanics, and completely open world, complete with glider, make the game feel a lot less restrictive than most in the genre. Unless the developer messes this one up, it should remain excellent for a long time. And number one, Call of Duty Mobile. Call of Duty Mobile was our pick for the best Android game in 2019. We usually wait a while before adding a game, but Call of Duty Mobile is so intensely popular with such a high rating that we added it more quickly than usual. The game has both a normal FPS online PvP mode along with a 100-player Battle Royale. That puts it in a rare category where it does Battle Royale like PUBG Mobile, but also regular FPS PvP like Critical Ops or Modern Combat. There is a surprising amount of stuff to do. It's a free-to-play game, but most of the in-game purchases are cosmetic items. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to The Daily Hit for more videos. See you on the next video.